Hi, this is Mike from the Excel Trainer. And I recently received an email from somebody who wanted to know how they could take a list of tasks that were stored like these in Excel and import them into Outlook, including the reminder information. As you can see, for each task, I've got a task name, a due date, reminder date, reminder time, and a column called reminder, which I'll explain in a minute. The headings don't have to be exactly the same as the ones I've used because we're going to map the headings into Outlook. But the formats of the due date and reminder date, in my testing, they either need to be with the slashes between the day, month, year, or with the dashes. And if you're in a country that uses the format of month, day, year, then format the cells in Excel as month, day, year. I'm in the UK, so mine are formatted as day, month, year. The reminder time, well, that can be in 24-hour time or in 12-hour time format with the AM or PM, as I've done here. The reminder column, that is to indicate whether the reminder field, the reminder checkbox in Outlook, is on or off. And you put a 1 if you want the reminder box to have a tick in it and a 0 if you don't. You can't import the data from an Excel file. You have to import it from a CSV file. So I'll go to File, Save As, change the format of the file to CSV, and click on Save. So now I have a CSV file. In Outlook, I've gone to my task list. I'll go to File, Open and Export, Import, Export. I'll select Import from another program or file and click Next. I'm importing from a CSV or comma separated values file. So with that selected, click Next. It remembers the last CSV file that I used and I've tested this obviously before I recorded so it's remembered what I last used but if it was a different file click browse and select the file it gives you various options when it comes to duplicate entries in the CSV file I'm going to change it to do not import duplicate values click on next select tasks because that's where I'm importing into and click on next and I now want to map the fields. Before I can do that, I need to put a tick in the box, import the CSV file into tasks, then click map custom fields. Here I need to map the fields. I need to tell Outlook which field from the CSV file matches which field from Outlook. So I'll drag task name over to subject because the task name field in the CSV file, whatever's in there, is going to be used as the subject text in Outlook. It's already got reminder date and reminder time as reminder date and reminder time. It's done that because the field names are the same. Due date as well, it's picked that up because due date is what it's called in Outlook and due date is what it's called in Excel or the CSV file. And finally, I need to drag reminder to reminder on off. Once I've done that, click on OK and click on finish and it imports the tasks. So there's the task listed at the bottom of my task list. And if I just select one of them, just double click on task three, it's pulled in the task name or subject the due date is put a tick in the reminder box and picked up the date and time of the reminder. So thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And for more tips, tricks and tutorials, please check out theexceltrainer.co.uk.